Welcome back everyone to my hobby home. My name is Kathy. Thank you so much for joining me. You probably see all the stuff here. Well, I'm going to tell you what this is all about. This right here is an Amazon haul. Notice that box is not, there is no sticky on that tape whatsoever. I don't know how they get these things to stick, but in this box, uh, it is a small Amazon haul for me. Um, but I am going to show you some of the things that I am doing to organize my sewing room. So one moment and I'm going to take this box down and start showing you what we have. The first thing that I am going to show you that I'm using to organize is this. This is a Brother P-Touch D220. This machine will actually use, um, I think, a three-quarter inch tape, a wider tape than what I have. I'm currently using this machine, but it will only do up to half an inch. And I do want to do wider than half an inch. And I've only been able to find the black ink on the clear tape, and I really want the black ink on the white tape. And I do have some of that because I bought one, and I thought it would fit in this machine. But that machine stops at 12 millimeters, which is half an inch. So, this right here, um, I've... I actually at work use a Dymo, D-Y-M-O, and I was hoping to have been able to find one of those because it hooks to your computer and bam, bam, it's real easy. It's got a program to use and I know how to use it. So there may be a little learning curve for me with this, but you'll see this is a, it looks like it's just a, like a handheld, just like this other one is. It does have an AC adapter that you have to purchase separately, but let's see. I'm pretty certain. Yep, it's just like this one here. It uses six AAA batteries. You put, and they do send you an ink, but once again, it's um, it's a sample, and it goes up to 12 millimeters. So this is not as big as I want. I thought it had two in it. Let me read this and see. Oh wait, no, it does have black on white laminated sample tape. It only has one. Okay. It looks like it has two spots in there. But this is my first step to managing my projects that are already, like these boxes right here. I'll have a label on them. And these labels tell what each of them are. Now, this is only for projects that are currently being worked. This one here is the project for the retreat. Uh, this one here, I have not started yet, but I do have the pattern. This is a pattern that was suggested by a, a viewer. And I'm trying this because I got two fabulous charm packs. And I was going to use my It Takes Two Charms book. But I had a subscriber tell me this pattern. And I'll tell you what it is. It's Woodruff. And I think this is beautiful. It's a this is kind of quilt I do like to see. So I'm going to try this. I mean, hey, I do still need to get some other fabrics. I need to get some, um, probably a, a white on white or a cream to, I don't know. But I, I still need to get more fabric for this. This one has not started yet, but I have the basics of it and I didn't want to lose the pattern because I had the pattern and the fabric so I put it in the box like this one right here 
this is my creative notions box i have showed these to you before and this is where i put the blocks also like block of the months like creative notions i have press flowers quilt along i have the moda block head five um i have one of these because these are all continuing projects and until they're done they will have one of these to store my my pieces in there so i have another i have several other, i have my craftsman down here that's one that y'all will be seeing um on wednesday i have started it it is a uh work in progress so y'all will see it on wednesdays uh, my progress for that but this is how i am going to be now see this one here the woodruff it probably shouldn't be in here because i haven't started it yet but i do want to start it like really soon so i've gone on and put it in here i'm going to try to hit every one of these at least once a week now like creative notions i know i can't hit it unless i get a bag with a pattern uh, my pressed flowers i can't touch that and these go in a separate location like block of the months i put them over here um things that i need to be touching on i'm going to find a different location for them to go that's somewhere right here at my table probably underneath my table i do have a box under my table that i could sit in on um so i'm touching them at least once a week to make some progress on them now i do know that you guys have received or the video has already come out about my accountability i am wanting to get all of these done and i know the video that came out i actually think it came out today um i didn't have everything in that video i have more than five projects that are not done i have a tree skirt i have christmas stockings but they're in another bag over here which i'm about to pull them out and lay them up there too so i can see them i have a lot of other projects going on that are not necessarily quilting i have cross stitching going on i have diamond art painting going on i have um plastic canvas going i have a project of all three of those going on right now along with my quilting so i'm trying to think what else i have i have a lot of stuff going on guys i i stay busy i'm a busy little bee all the time i I get up at 4 30 and i finish probably about 10 30 at night so yeah. so more of my amazon haul now this right here is just double-sided tape um i use this a lot but this right here is uh i think it's safe for photos and i have a lot you know i got two grandbabies i got a lot of photos the next thing i'm going to show you uh of course i know people get these all the time with projects but i went on and ordered a bunch more of these i have a lot of them already and these are actually bigger than what I normally have. I don't know. No, maybe they're about the same size. But these are those mesh zipper bags. Good zippers on them. What this is going to hold is future projects. I don't know if the labels will stick on these or not. But these are things like if I get a pattern and I have some fabric that I know I want to do a project with, this is what it will go in. Um, and then when I get to where I'm pulling projects, I have a bunch of bags on this shelf right here. Uh, you can see those in most of my other videos, and I've actually shown them to you before. Uh, I put a lot of things in these bags like if I buy stuff together and I know I want to make that, I kind of put it, put it all in a bag 
with the pattern so I don't lose my train of thought on what is this for um, because I do buy a lot of stray fabrics for backings for scrappy quilts for backgrounds um, and I buy some fabric just because it's such a great deal and I'm like I know I'll find something to use with it my video from I believe yesterday I had a lot of fabric like that and I do have to get in here in my sewing room and get some organization going because my sewing room has everything in it it's got all my cookbooks all my garden and stuff you know my seeds my books it has all of that stuff in here and I really need to get rid of some stuff to make room in here and also I do resale um my husband and I we thrift did a lot of thrifting and reselling on eBay and I still do some reselling on eBay and if you want to check it out it's the same name my hobby home uh you can just check it out it's on eBay uh I don't know that I have much out there right now I may I may not I don't know I don't know what's out there <laughs> I don't I'm not very active on listing things I find things uh, and then I'll just go list it I'm if I have something out there it's only probably 14 or 15 items out there and I just have it set up where it automatically relists and I get notifications if somebody purchases something um, it's not something that I'm very active with, which I will be getting more active with it with my crafts once I get everything organized and set back up. You know, it's one step at a time. But this is going to be my organization friend because I have over here another bookshelf that is really the shelf spacing on the bottom of it is too close to put books standing upright and I mean I could put fabrics there but I would rather put project it's tall enough for these project bags to go in it so I am going to be clearing that shelf off and uh, getting project bags going if I have fabrics because I do have a lot of fabric and patterns not matched together that should be together so guys this is what I am going to be doing to try to clear the clutter smash the stash and make sure I don't have a lot of unnecessary um, things here I have lots of fabric that I have thrifted and I need to get to start cutting it down for scrappy quilts um if I have something that I can do a two and a half inch strip like a jelly roll I'll start stripping it or if I can do five inch squares three inch squares whatever I can do that's what I'm going to try to do to it I'm going to go on and do it like a pre-cut so guys this is my haul. <laughs> I know it's not a lot, but I just kind of wanted to bring you guys along so you could see. Um, this is, let me pull it over. Currently, projects in the plastic bins. That and the, Like I said, these are ones that are currently ongoing. Things that I work on at least once a month. Or once a week um, I have seven boxes right now I need an eighth one because I do have a quilt over here that is in my acrylic tray all the pieces are cut out I left everything in the acrylic tray so whenever I have a moment to go to it and so I can sew it but let's face it, I haven't touched it since about August of last year. Um, this is this, the quilt from the shop hop, the virtual shop hop that I did. And I just kind of lost my, I don't know, my want to with it. And I guess it's because I had to pick the fabrics and I'm thinking that 
my fabric choices may not have been so great because it was supposed to be Christmassy and I was trying to make things match and I was brand new to this so hmm, I didn't do a real good job of fabric picking but and I'm I'm not gonna say I'm great at it and while I'm saying this let me find I kind of do have another little haul right here. Yesterday, on my lunch break, I don't even know who these fabrics are by, but they're beautiful. I'm going to tell y'all, if you are ever in North Louisiana, oh, I'm about to push that one off the back there. If you are ever in North Louisiana, North Central Louisiana, um, close to Monroe, there's a town called Mangum. If you're on interstate and you're heading east from Monroe, uh, you will take the exit at Rayville and you will head south. It is a small town called Mangum. That is where stitched by faith quilt shop is at I went there yesterday and oh no I got something on the fabric I guess or there's something on the fabric well when I cut it you won't be able to tell because this is going to be my binding anyway but I went in there and the ladies of course I saw Miss DD Miss DD if you see this love you lady and I love your shop and I don't need to come into it too many times but, but I say it's just as dangerous to send my husband in there because you're going to get him to buy something. <laughs> but I, I was picking out some fabric. Okay, this is by 30s Playtime 2017 Chloe's Closet. It is a little X print on that. I got this fabric. And then this one here, I don't know, do I have some? This is called Home, oh, that's not the name of it. Dwell by Camille Ross Kelly. And this is going to be my binding. I don't know if you can see that. I'll hold that up as best I can. And I, I kind of have the camera far away so you can see on my table but I went and I, I picked these pieces out at lunch and if you're watching this I'm so sorry I'm awful with names but I had the nicest lady helping me pick it out pick out my fabrics and I just told her I'm like I'm awful at matching color I'm, I'm awful at doing that and I really do need help when it comes to that and she helped me she was so nice and so patient and and when I walked in she told me she said we were just watching you so, <laughs> so thank you for watching me I'm so excited that you watched me I hope you I make you laugh at least once a day because I do have a video coming out every single day so I hope I make you laugh if nothing else I don't want to make you cry please don't cry but these are some beautiful fabrics and I cannot wait to get on this and um, I did misspoke when I told you what it was that came in it was not the box you were asking me about it was a diff a special box um, but it is by the same person I'm not really saying who it is yet on here because I don't want to give away my project yet so that being said that is a project that is going in a box because i've already got part of the fabric cut the only thing that's not cut is this uh i don't have my background cut yet for this and i don't have well i have all my pieces cut except for the background that's it um and then when it comes time for it i can do my backing and cut my binding so 
I keep thinking of things I need to tell you guys. I mean, this was like a random shopping haul organization. What I'm doing, how I'm doing. If y'all have a better way that helps you to organize all your stuff, please let me know. I love these bags, but I will say I can't always tell what's in the bags. And... I feel like I lose stuff in the shuffle. But I know if I have all my project stuff in a bag, even if I'm not going to work it like immediately, because I know I have tote bags back here that I wanted to make for Christmas that I didn't get done, I could put them in one of the, well, they are in one of these. But I can put projects in here. And if it's in this bag, I'm going to start pulling my bags. So we can get them done. And guys, I would like it if you'd give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you've not yet subscribed, go in and subscribe. I do have a lot of new content coming out. Quilting, sewing, uh, diamond art painting. I've, I've been doing diamond art painting for a couple years. But I have something really special that I've been working on and I want to show you guys. It's absolutely stunning, beautiful. I'm, I'm going to show it to you. You know, there's a lot of things that I, I do that I haven't shown you. I haven't shown you my, my um, plastic canvas that I do. I haven't shown you. I've shown you what I've done, like with my, my cross stitch. But I don't really like show you anything about that but um i'm going to show you this diamond art painting y'all it is absolutely stunning and this diamond art painting the saint Jim michaels kit it it's a sure enough big old kit nice kit and I'm going to show it to you and let you guys uh, see what I'm talking about. I'll have a video coming out on that real soon. Um, probably the beginning of February. It's probably already the beginning of February when you see this video. So guys, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you've not yet subscribed, please do. Um, are you going to miss a lot of interesting things? Um, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me your ideas on organization. Um, I don't need to ask my husband because he'll tell me a dumpster because I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> and I do respond to each comment personally. And as always, until I see you again, have a very blessed day. Goodbye.